This interview is for information only and should not be considered as investment advice or a recommendation to buy shares in the company featured. Welcome to this stock box interview. Fulcrum Metals PLC has acquired 42 claim cells covering 8.9 square kilometers in the Carib Creek East region extending the company's Winston Lake project in Ontario, Canada. Now, CEO Ryan Mee has said the company believe in identifying and capitalizing on opportunities that we feel have the potential to increase shareholder value in the long term. Well, joining us now is the CEO, Ryan Mee. How are you doing, Ryan? Morning, Mark. Yes, uh, I'm fantastic. How are you? Very good, thank you. Thank you very much for your time today. So you've acquired these new license areas. Can I ask you what was the main inspiration for acquiring this property? Yeah, so this area is a really highly prospective area. Um, we're, we're next to Metalum, who have a, the highest zinc grade mine in North America. And, you know, we, we had a look around the area and we identified this uh, eastern extension, which, which has uh, the mapped uh, volcanic and sedimentary contact zone across the property. Um, and it's got some historic uh, copper grades, which we found very, very interesting. Okay. Well, you, you mentioned there about Metallum. Uh, of course, as I understand, uh, Fulcrum already have a, 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 a decent footprint in the Winston Lake area. And of course, First Class Metals are operating the area Metallum resources, as you say, with that, uh, I think, 2.5 million tonne jork of uh, resource of zinc. She said it's the highest grading in North America. So significant uh, potential in the area. Is the thinking here then that the trend sort of that Metallum have found as their deposit continues over the other license areas that you've recently acquired? Yeah, so uh, we, we included a couple of maps in the RNS today, um, and here's one of them. So as you say, we already had a footprint in the area with the Carib Creek and the Beaver Trap properties. Um, and if we, if we take into consideration the known uh, resources in the area, this kind of develops a trend for us. So we had a look over to the eastern area, and what we found is historically, uh, copper grades in rock samples of up to 1.35%, and a very interesting copper in soil, soil anomaly, uh, which measures around two square kilometers uh, in area size, and with uh, samples of up to 1100 ppm copper. Now, in this area, anything around 50 ppm and above uh, is anomalous. So to have 1100 ppm, uh, is something really that you know grabs your attention. So it's it's really uh, focusing on expanding our footprint in a really highly prospective mineralized area. Um, the Winston Lake area, uh, or historic mine owned by Metalum, uh, that's the highest zinc grade mine in North America, and I think second globally. Um, nearly up to 18% zinc. So this is an area which, given the critical mineral strategy of Canada uh, and what's uh, developing globally to support the EV revolution, this is going to be a really important area in Canada. Um, and this is actually a very good transaction for the company to make. Okay. So that dashed line, that blue dashed line we can see, is that the, the, the trend then or the fault line? What is that? Yeah, so that's an inferred trend of uh, significant mineralization. Okay. Um, as you can see, that eastern extension uh, is part of that uh, inferred uh, mineralized zone. Um, and, you know, it's not to say that you have to directly follow that line, but, it, you know, if you uh, explore in and around those areas, you know, there's a good chance of uh, finding something rather interesting to develop. Indeed. Well, I wonder if we can talk about the exploration plans here for the, the Carib Creek and Winston Lake project area. I mean, you can see on the left, you've got the beaver, beaver trap and in the north, you've got Carib Creek. And then on the, on the, on the, uh, on the east there, you've got uh, the newly acquired license, the, uh, the Carib Creek East. So, I mean, just thinking about that trend line there, obviously it looks like Carib Creek East, it goes through there. Does that mean that's more a priority than perhaps the other two, the Beaver Trap and the Carib Creek? Uh, not specifically. Um, I think, you know, from that trend line, the Carib Creek uh, and the newly acquired area, 
um, are definitely uh, priority areas for us to follow up on. Um, you know, and with with Cab Creek being so close to this metallum deposit, um, I think we'll be you know focusing our efforts uh, on that kind of southeastern corner of the uh, okay. original Cab Creek property, and then over to the east. You know, in particular where we've got that copper soil anomaly. Uh, the historic reports note uh, several areas of calcopyrite, which is a pathfinder for the metallum deposit in particular. So we've got a lot of ingredients there um, and indeed exploration targets to follow up on uh, and move these properties along the development curve. As undoubtedly, focus will be made on this area um, uh, to support this critical mineral strategy in Canada. Okay, so focus on this area then. Of course, the, the drill season, the active field season is, is fast coming upon us in Canada. So are you ready to do some exploration this year? Yes, we are in the final throes of finalising all of our exploration plans uh, for throughout 2023. Um, and the market can, um, you know, will be announced to the market uh, as soon as those programmes uh, commence. Uh, as we previously announced, we've got VTM surveys, which should be ready to go uh, early May as well. So we really are on the doorstep of a, a very active exploration season for Fulcrum, um, which we're all very excited about. Okay. And will the activities be on Winston Lake area or other areas uh, in the portfolio? Yeah. So I think everybody's aware that our primary focus is on Big Bear for this year. So we're, we're still finalizing plans to get out there and go drilling. Um, okay. But we will be going out across all of the properties in the portfolio this year. And that's going to help us prioritize for the following exploration season. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for your time this morning, Ryan Me, CEO of Fulcrum Metals. Thank you, Mark. Always a pleasure. If you enjoyed this interview, then give us a thumbs up, a like or a retweet. Subscribe to us on YouTube or follow us on Twitter and hit that notification bell to be the first to know when we release new content. There's loads of great content on our website too, across all our programs at stockboxmedia.com. Thank you for watching.